Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another update and uh, today I've rewired my system. Um, you know I've discovered that capaci a capacitor bank works awesome. I mean it works great, it provides some power when you need it, but the key thing is you know one thing that I've also discovered is it works even better if you wire it correctly. Um, and so what I've got going on, let me just take this little thing off here. Is essentially, I rewired the uh, my capacitor bank, and I've got four aught cable, you know, and uh, all that red right here is just electrical tape, and um, I just put that on there so that um, you know decreases the possibility of arcing or something like that. Just more insulation. That's all it is. It may look ugly, but you know what? I don't really care <laughs> because hey, you know, safety first. But anyway, again, that's just electrical tape. Uh, but anyway, these uh, this is 4 aught cable. It, this this cable here goes directly to the inverter, and this cable right here goes to uh, through this switch uh, through the bus bar. And the difference being, as opposed to the inverter cable connecting down to down to that bus bar, this cable here is coming directly off the capacitor bank. So this is the first place the inverter will get energy from, as opposed to. Here at the battery bank, it get it. I mean, at the bus bar, it can get it from the battery bank or the capacitor bank. Uh, but in this case right here, it's it's going directly. It's coming directly from the capacitor. Um, I, you know, I went to an audio, uh, you know, specialty shop, and you know, I just simply asked a question. Do you guys install caps? And they said, Well, yes, we do. And what they do is they just simply install it as you see fit, as you see here. They the two positives are connected here to the uh, to the positive uh, cap. And, and then the other cable is connected to the battery bank through the bus bar or something like that. <coughs> and uh, and also I decided to go with heavier gauge uh, wire. And working on these things here, you know, um, one thing that I would like to stress, if you have a capacitor bank, do not work on these things without discharging those capacitors first. I repeat, do not work on, I don't care how careful you are. I mean, I discharge them obviously, but I don't care how careful you are. Uh, that is a lot of power, and just one connection. I mean, just just one. I discharged the capacitor bank completely, and you know, I think I had like you know one volt left or something like that. I thought I had discharged completely, and I was working, and you know, the two leads kind of touching. It was just a tiny, tiny, tiny spark, and I'm like, you know what? Imagine if that thing was fully charged. Um, so, you know, don't work on these things without discharging them first. Uh, but anyway, um, I mean, the system was working great. It just that, you know, I still found, my, find, found myself waking up in the middle of the night because the power was out or the inverter would go into uh, low voltage disconnect or something like that. I mean, I did drain the batteries. Uh, but the thing is, I, you know, something was nagging at me and I was like, well, maybe I didn't, you know, hook this thing up right. So, you know, swallow my pride and just come in and say, you know what, let me just ask somebody. And so this is what, we, what I come up with. And I went and got some more four, four alt welding cable. And now as you see, uh, you know, I'm back in business. Um, charging these up is no big deal uh, because, you know, with a nickel iron battery bank, um, it, it doesn't really hurt them if I just, you know, I just simply flip the switch and boom, it just starts charging the uh, capacitors. Um, I mean, it will, I mean, this wire here, it this it did get warm, um, you know, not hot, but warm, but because, you know, this thing, uh, there was a huge inrush of current. So um, working with this type of bat, uh, capacitor bank, I would suggest that you not work with anything less than, you know, four aught wire. Um, you know, three aught at the least, but four aught is my recommendation because that's a lot of power going going to those capacitors and coming from those capacitors. Um, I'm current limited to 100, 150 amps, but still, um, you know, when I discharge those uh, those capacitors, I used uh, you know I just I just connected a, a a set of jumper cables. You know, I turned the switch off obviously. Set up, put up a, a couple of jumper cables on the uh, bus bars and you know and then connected the other end to a, you know a, a, re a big huge resistor and uh, I'll kind of show it to you hold on one second okay I'm back here I connected up to this thing here this is a huge resistor and you can see that this thing you can see this discoloration that's how hot this thing got 
and uh, I was like, oh man, you know, I was kind of afraid that this thing would actually, there was so much power coming from those capacitors that I was afraid that it was, uh, that it would actually, uh, you know, burn through the, these rings. And then I'll tell you, these are thick coils, very thick coils. However, you know, again, there's a lot of power coming from those capacitor banks. So essentially I just, you know, put this away and I went and got a piece of steel. Hold on, I'll show you what I had. So eventually I got this thing, you know, this is a piece of steel that I had, some plate steel uh, that I had left over from my, uh, you know, making my bus bars here. Uh, and so I just clamped on the, uh, the two, uh, uh, you know, jumper, cater, jumper cable alligator clips and then just let it drain down. So I'll continue to use this one, you know, it takes a lot to melt steel, <laughs> but uh, this right here will serve as my resistor. Uh, but to to discharge that capacitor bank whenever I have to work on but again Safety is paramount when doing when dealing with capacitor banks and Battery banks and you know all of this stuff in general. I'm not saying that I'm an expert or, or anything like that But you know, hey, I try to be safe and you know over the past five years I have learned a few things just a few not a lot, but just a few so you know, hopefully I you know, I'm uh, I know enough to be safe but uh, anyway, YouTube, just an update. Um, you know, again, everything's just chugging along here. I'm about to go off grid. Um, I'm going off grid today as well. And, um, you know, it's fun. I actually enjoy going off grid. <laughs> okay. But uh, anyway, take care, YouTube.